Hi. Welcome to our store. Is there something specific that you're looking for? Okay. So what consoles are we looking at? Okay. So you have both um, Xbox as well as PS4, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and start with you said you needed chargers okay so we i'll show you an xbox charger as well as a playstation charging well like the charging docks and is there anything else you want to look at games okay um did you also want to look at any controllers Great choice. I actually, when I play PS4, I have an all red charger as well. I love the all red charger, so I will have to go ahead and show you one. And headphones, did you need it for Xbox, PS4? Okay. Well, I do have one that goes for both if you want that. So you already have Xbox Ones. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll look at games. Alright. Okay. So, let's start out with those charging docks. So I have some right here. Okay. So, so this is our Xbox charger. So it does have two rechargeable battery packs, mm -hmm. and then they just come on like that. I like this picture here. So it includes the charging station, as well as rechargeable battery packs, two of them, two, two charge through battery doors as well as AC power adapter and LED charge indicator. So under here, it lights up. It turns red whenever it's not charged and it's currently charging, and then it turns green when it's finished. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you think? aside for you and then we have also the PS4 dual controller charger works with PS4 and PS4 Pro okay so this comes with a charging dock AC adapter and a quick setup guide so you know in the PS um, for remotes, they already have rechargeable batteries, so you don't need that. You don't need to buy that. Um, so that's why it doesn't include that. And it does have room for two. Okay. And this is what it looks like. Okay. So what are you thinking? Do you want to put this aside and kind of think about it? Fine, I'll go ahead and put this aside. Okay. Alright. Just curious. Do you play both or do you favor one over the other? Yes. Quite a few people like Xbox better, but I am a PlayStation fan. I don't know, it's just the way the remote feels to me for some reason, like, I'll show you when I show you the red one. I really like the thumbs, both being right here, and just, I just like my hands like this, you know what I mean? So, it just kind of goes where I need it to be, you know what I mean? And like, the Xbox one is kind of like this. I don't know why it's the smallest thing, but it bothers me so much. 
so like so this is our red one red all around as you can see I like red <laughs> I mean red is pretty a badass color come on I mean everybody knows this right so I have this controller as well so if you are interested in this I will set a box um, for you aside if you do like the way it looks okay. and then really quickly we'll go ahead and go over some headphones um, personally I always go with Turtle Beach headphones. Okay, so just like this. I think that they are comfortable. Yeah, I find them very comfortable. They go on like this. I also think that they look quite good. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. And they do come with a little kind of controller so you can control everything here's your mute button and if you want to intense the hearing right here so and then your little dial to turn the volume up and off and down right here so if you are interested in that we have these these are personally my favorite um i don't know if you usually go with turtle beach or another okay yeah, so we have those ones. Did you want to look at different ones, or are you kind of good with those? Okay. If you change your mind, we'll look at different ones later. Okay. So, when we're looking for games, um, what exactly are we looking for? Are we looking for more multiplayer or a campaign? Okay. I pulled a few out for you to look at, both Xbox as well as PlayStation. Okay, so let's start with Xbox, okay? So how are we on Call of Duties? Are we pretty up to date on those? you really mostly want to look at um, when campaign games one player okay so I have quite a few of those to show you then okay just set those ones aside since you said you aren't really interested um, so here we go so for Xbox I would recommend um, I would recommend Prey. This is a one player game, and you do play a scientist. And with this one, you have to gain back control of what's going on because aliens are just overrunning the place, basically. So you have to take care of that. One thing that I did like with this game, I don't know if you've seen the movie The Thing. One of my favorite movies is that first one, the original one. It's an older movie. That and the movie It, the old one and the new one, both the thing and it are like all good. But before I get too distracted, <laughs> um, this one, the aliens kind of do something that reminds me of my favorite scary movies, and so I found that fascinating and I enjoyed it a bunch. Try not to spoil it for you, but. Okay. 
So next we have um, we have this game, Witcher. Okay, so this one is a bit different, but it is a fun open world game. So basically, you go around slaying monsters. And many other things. But what is fun about this game is that it can be played over and over again. Over and over, my friend plays it. Has played it many times. He enjoyed it that much. So, if you do like something like that, sort of open world, um, good story game, then this could be a good fit for you. Mm -hmm. tell me that you have played this before. You have not? Have you played any of the Fallouts? Oh good. Fallout is also a great game. Good story. You can play over and over. This one, you're the sole survivor of Bolt 111. And you um, have to basically survive in a post pandemic world. So basically the world's kind of gone like downhill because of nuclear war. So this one is also a wonderful game. I'm still playing through it, but I do find it quite enjoyable. Who doesn't like a good story, huh? So said that you played the new Mass Effect, am I right? Have you played the original ones? Okay, well, they are Xbox 360, so when it comes to visually, it is a bit outdated. We do have the trilogy of Mass Effect. I have quite a few friends who still go back to play this. So if you are interested, we do have this as well. If you want to go ahead and go back in time, you know, get all nostalgic. I have quite a few friends that Mass Effect is their favorite games, so every once in a while they go ahead and go back and start over. Okay, so basically, that's all I brought out for you, Xbox-wise, but I do have some PlayStation games, if you're still interested. Okay, so I have quite a few options for you. Sorry if I'm overloading you with too many games. Just let me know if you want me to stop. Okay, so we do have... The Last of Us. So, post pandemic world, it's time for you and your buddy to. This 
is The Last of Us Remastered. I figured this might be a good pick for you, considering you can only play it on PlayStation since you have both. And this one is one player, but you can also play online with up to eight people. So, if you enjoy that, this is a good option for you. Okay. Next. Seven days to die. So, with this game, visually is maybe not the best. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of Minecraft in a more realistic type of way. Um, basically zombies, you have to survive. Um, you can play by yourself, one player, but it is quite fun to play with your friends. That is how I would recommend playing, is with your friends. Um, it can be a good time, honestly, to blast. If you have you played this before? No. Okay. So, a lot of people get confused saying, oh, it's only seven days. No. Okay. A horde of zombies comes every seven days. And there are zombies in between, but it's like really bad on the seventh day. Like each seven days or every seven days. So, you and your friends just have to kind of scavenge and build things to survive so you guys kind of have to you know take care of each other so it's more fun now I know I already went over this game with you but just in case you had um, a preference um, I decided to just bring out both for you just in case. Yeah. And next. These are the games I'm actually mostly playing right now. Um, so one is Titanfall 2. Have you played this one? Yes, it is quite fun. One player, but you can also go online and play multiplayer. If you're interested. So this is the second one. I actually have not played first one. So with this one, you play a pilot, and you kind of unite with your titan, and kind of enjoy that relationship between man and machine. So your titan is this big guy here, and then you're the pilot. So it's kind of fun because you switch back and forth between playing yourself and shooting yourself and then you actually go inside here embark into your titan and then you fight through him and it's a totally different experience so you know it switches up throughout the game it's, it doesn't get boring that's for sure so if you're interested i'll put that one there and I only have one more for you before you stop me. So I have Tomb Raider, well, Rise of the Tomb Raider 20 year celebration. Have you played the Tomb Raider games before? You have? Okay. So then I don't really have to explain to you. But to know if it is one player and you can play online. But this one is kind of like an old book, it looks like. So in here, 
you open it and you see this picture and then you kind of get to see different pictures um, in here I'll only show a couple see it goes on there's a few more pages you can see and then your game so, I think this is a cooler edition. It's different than the rest of the games. But anyways, I find this one quite fun. I'm still playing it. So, what did you think? Did you find everything you're looking for? Okay. Good. So then... Let's go ahead and you can let me know which ones you pick out and I'll just go ahead and bring you up, okay? Okay. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed. Go ahead and press subscribe and check out the social media that I have listed right here and check out my other videos, alright? Bye guys!